Hello everybody, it is me, Midnight Rarity. And so as you saw in the title, we're gonna be doing a custom today and I'm excited because I haven't done one in a while. My last custom was this leaf chop travesty and then that was my first custom. I'm not actually gonna be doing anything with hair or uh, whatever this is I'm actually gonna be doing with clay and as you can see I don't really like my leaf drop the way that like I made the hair flat and like how it was but don't worry I'm not gonna make another leaf drop that would be silly imagine like my third leaf drop OC my only OC now a while back I actually went ahead and removed the hair plugs and everything from here but I feel stupid for doing that because that's only needed for rehairing the pony and I want the neck to move and I don't want to mess up or anything I also have a new type of clay it's um, actually super sculpy not like the harder kind it's just regular super sculpy and I'm very excited to use this product because I heard really good things about it and I'm really excited to be using it so that's what I'm going to be using today did I literally just repeat myself 50 million times I did ah! to attach the tail I'm going to be using a different method so the clay doesn't fall off and so it doesn't look lumpy at the end I'm going to be using this copper wire I will show you later in the video and I'm going to be using an exacto knife and some super glue probably not going to be using the super glue and then I'm going to be using the um these clay tools that I have right here and by the way just a little side note I know the the lighting is like not the best right now but I actually have two new brand new studio lights coming in the mail so I'm officially going to have proper lighting and I'm very excited if the lighting randomly switches and you know why anyway let's get started and really honestly want to do surprise the G1 pony so what ends up happening ends up happening we'll just see what happens and yeah why am I so drunk I cut a little hole up here and attached a metal wire here because I don't want the tail to be so low. I don't really like it being that low. So it's gonna come from up here and it's gonna be amazing and awesome and I'm excited and I'm actually ready to cry because I don't know if you can put super glue in the oven but I need to super glue the head on. But um, if uh, the fumes end up hurting me, then you know why i have managed to put on the head with super glue so um uh, yeah and let's get started on actually molding the pony uh, the hair the pony hair let's do this by the way i don't know any idea or i don't have any idea of what i'm doing i'm just gonna go ahead and make it randomly so if it doesn't come out like the g1 surprise i am sorry i will try my hardest uh but also i i probably won't i'm gonna cry now Okay, hello, I'm back. So what I ended up doing is I actually ended up sculpting the top portion of the mane and I think it came out all right for a beginner. <laughs> and then I ended up sculpting the back separately and I kind of, I'm still fusing it right here. But as you can see, I pretty much have the basic down. I know it's not the best, but listen, like I said, I'm a beginner. I hope to, uh, how do you say, um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, improve. I hope to improve. So the wing got in the way here, so I made a little indent. But now I'm going to do the tail. And um, the tail, I suggest, I suggest, I suspect, there we go, that is going to be hard. But I'm going to actually cover up the hole right there because it don't need a butthole. It's a plastic toy that's going to go in the oven. And I already, you know, kind of killed you. So, like, that's fine. That is all right. I keep doing that. I think that's a good tail. Hello everyone, quick update. I managed to somewhat do a tail that was not a good proper sentence, but I managed to fix up a tail. It's a little wonky right now, but I feel like I'm gonna have to leave it to dry. Not dry. It's not air dry clay, it's baking clay. I'm gonna let these guys um, harden a little bit overnight so I can carve out the details tomorrow and I don't like make it even more lumpier and then I could like fix the lumpiness of this because this is a little... It's, it's, it's really messed up. We'll see how that goes and I'm actually very excited to do this. Hi guys, it's me. Uh, I'm back. Oh, I mean the video didn't even stop but basically a couple of things happened since the last clip. As you can see I didn't even work on this surprise pony but I think I'm gonna end up keeping the tail this way but I think I'm gonna do the outlines that Pinkie Pie has because it kind of has the same mold and everything and I'm gonna find a way to um, flatten the back so I can actually turn its head a little bit more than just staying like that and also I got 
professional lighting. I have two of these. The other one's over there. I don't know if you can see it. You can't because it's an abyss. But basically, uh, we have proper lighting for the first time in 50 trillion years. Yeah! Ah! I'm sorry, this is weird. I'm gonna go finish this now. Continue on to the video. Ah! Hi everyone, don't mind me, I'm just setting up baking stuff. And yes, I'm using the same footage for both of the videos. Don't mind me, just a cheapo. They're ready to go and suffer together. Both of them are so ready. That's a mango. I'm already impatient. Let's check on them. I'm scared. Also, the pony plastic doesn't melt. Okay, so it's been around 15 minutes and I put on nine extra minutes because um, the surprise pony still needs a little bit of time. Guys, my dog came to join me, but you need to get out of the kitchen unless you want to get burnt. You want to get burnt? I don't think so. Oh no, the hair fell. Okay, look at that. Like, can you not say how fun that is? Ugh, I love how jiggly the ponies turn into while in the oven. Like, it's just so jiggly. Anyway, we gotta go paint surprise now. Let's go. Three, two, one. Cool transition. Go. Is that? We're back? Yes, we are. And hello, I am back as well with you. What? As you can see, I have now finished baking the pieces that are gonna go on the pony. And the main broke. Let's get started on painting this pony. Pony, pony, painting this pony. That was weird. Sit down a protective way underneath this. turning into Spongebob. <laughs> Waka waka mole. Avocado mole. Waka waka mole wanda. All right, everyone. Hello. Uh, can I be honest and real with you? It's been like a good week, maybe almost two weeks since I've continued working on this pony, but that is because I did not have one material. This is the Mr. Super Clear that I will be using today in this video in order to like make a sealer and it won't focus. Yeah, I finally got the Mr. Super Clear that I've been waiting for a while ago, but I didn't have these materials because I don't want to, I don't know, mess anything up in my lungs or something because apparently this stuff is really bad if you inhale it and i'm not here for that <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go outside and set this paper down and um put this pony right there and these hair pieces as well in order to live life and on the edge i'm kidding this is the opposite of what living life on the edge is <laughs> My neighbors are looking at me. I mean, no, I, I'm guessing. Hold on, let me set this up. Boom, okay. So, like. I'm gonna add at least one more layer to this one and this one because the paint job is not really done on that one. I didn't notice until I got, I reached a certain light. Also, I'm gonna draw 
on or yeah I'm gonna actually use watercolor pencils for this I'm gonna go ahead and do surprises eyes and as you can see it's gonna basically be Pinkie Pie's exact same eyes except violet like a bluish violet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now but I'm gonna do the layering the extra layers off camera so let's get started on the pony eyes now it's gonna be hard to do it in front of the camera I'm sorry if I fail update so i did this it's not even but i'm hoping or, or or it's not the best either but i'm hoping that when i actually draw with the watercolor pencils which is about to be now it'll come out decent i know i'm horrible at this but it's my first actual watercolor drawing eye custom thing so i'm not very good at this in general but i'm gonna go ahead and do the watercolor part right now right here right now and i'm actually gonna do it in front of you actually yeah yeah what The watercolor pencils that I own aren't like the best brand, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with paint and hopefully I don't mess up like I did all my other customs, which is only three of them. <laughs> so uh, good luck to me. I'll Someone please tell me why I thought rubbing the paint off would be a smart idea. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back in 50 years to fix this. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so it's the next day and as you can see the pony is pretty much finished. All that needs to happen really is me to put on the hair, super glue it on, it's the route I'm going to go at. And then I'm going to spray some Mr. Super Clear sealant on it and then the pony is finished. Literally 50 years it took for me to finish this so let's get started. Finished! Finally! Ah! I have like less than 30 seconds on this memory card. Oh no, I gotta go delete some files. Ah, la, la. But really quickly before I do, what I'm gonna do right now in these 30 seconds that I have, I'm gonna go put some sealant on this and I will see you right after the break and after this pony is finally officially finished. <gasps> ah! What was that? Like, that was even too weird for me. And we are finished! Finally! After 50 years of taking on this pony, we have finally finished Surprise My Little Pony Generation 1 into Generation 4. Let me give you a little quick overview. And by the way, yes, this side is more yellow and this side is more white because I broke one of the light bulbs and I haven't even used them that much. So let's just get started on showing you this pony. As you can see, Surprise is not, you know the best custom ever but you know it's what i did my best on and it's my own it's only my third custom so i have so much room to improve and i'm just very glad that this finally turned out really well but now i'm gonna shut up for like a few seconds and i'm gonna show you an awesome slideshow or whatever full of pictures of this awesome pony
And as you saw, this is the My Little Pony Surprise Generation 1 to Generation 4 My Little Pony Custom. I'm very glad with the final result. I know that I have so much more room for improvement because there are a couple of places, or the whole pony itself, that I could easily improve on. But don't worry, I'm going to try my hardest in many other more customs to complete the, uh, the ponies in a way better place. I don't know what that sentence meant, but I'm going to do my hardest on the other customs that I'm going to make. But for now, this is the best custom that I think that I've made so far, mainly due to the paint job. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare it to my old, old, old customs and a Pinkie Pie because this is actually what Pinkie Pie was supposed to look like until they scrapped this design and made her pink. <laughs> okay, as you can see, here's my latest custom. Now it's this one, but this one has hair. I'm going to put it back there. And here is my original leaf drop custom that I made with clay. I want to remake this one day, but not right now. I'm working on so many other customs and I already have too many leaf drop custom videos I've made. So this is my actual custom leaf drop and surprise right here is joining the custom clay family clay hair. So that's pretty amazing. And now let's go on to Pinkie Pie comparison is right here. I'm going to actually move leaf drop over here. And I'm, as you can see, this is what Pinkie Pie was originally supposed to look like. Originally was named surprise. But as you can see, they took out the Pegasus uh, horn. What? As you can see, they took out the Pegasus swings and they made her pink honestly i don't know which design i like better because this one is just so pinkie pie you know like you can't really replace pinkie pie but then you see this one and it's so intricately different that was not a correct sentence but it's, it's just it's just just that's how life came out to be and also hasbro realized that their demographic was supposed to be for little girls and little girls apparently like pink but as you can see there's a brony right here reviewing it so <laughs> that's kind of sad i'm gonna go cry now but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and i really hope that you enjoyed how this surprise custom came out i'm gonna definitely start using this in future videos and i'm gonna definitely make a lot more customs like this in fact i have a couple coming out later this month that i'm hoping they come out later this month because i'm still working on them but, uh hopefully you enjoyed this video it was a lot to make and now i have to go edit like an hour worth of footage so i'm gonna, gonna go ahead and do this and i love you guys and thank you so much for watching and if you want to see a surprise in many other videos make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications because i'm definitely going to be making a lot more of these in fact i might because because you know this is supposed to be originally pinkie pie what if i do all the ponies originally how their character designs were supposed to be i don't know but i will see you all later because i'm rambling on right now and i love you guys and hopefully you enjoyed this custom thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all later and i said that 50 times but look it's a zoom 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 okay bye <laughs>